Hey, welcome back to Tone 26 TV. Today I'll be making a mushroom stroganoff. It's a um, vegan dish, but not 100% vegan. It's a lacto uh, ovo vegan um, dish, which means that it's not any meat. Uh, you're not eating the meat of an animal, but you're eating some of the byproducts. You're going to have the byproducts of an animal, such as, um, but make this optional sour cream at the end, or the pasta I chose is actually a yolk free, but it's still um, pasta comes from, with this pasta is actually using some of the egg white, so it actually comes from a chicken. So we're using a byproduct of a chicken, but not actually using any of the flesh of the chicken. So therefore, it's a um, lacto ovo um, vegan dish. All right, so the first thing I did was I pre, um, get my, boil, my water boiling. I want to add a little bit of oil to it so the pasta doesn't stick. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in my boiling water. Get in the noodles a little bit of flavor, about a half a teaspoon of salt. And once again, I'm using a, a yolk-free pasta. I take like to use the yolk-free because the yolk of the egg actually contains a lot of fat. So I try to cook without it as much as possible, and I try to remove the yolk as much as possible out of my diet when cooking with eggs. All right, so I have about 10 ounces of um, noodles here. All right, you can get the ribbon noodles. And I'm going to use two ounces per person, so I'm making five dishes. So I'm going to use 10 ounces, and I did weigh that. All right, now I have my skillet preheating. I'm going to add about two about a tablespoon and a half of grapeseed oil. You can use olive oil as well. All right, I'm gonna cook my pasta al dente, uh, which means it's, I'm not gonna make, I don't want to get too soft because I wanna actually finish cooking it um, with the pasta sauce as well, with the sauce for the um, beef stroganoff. All right, so I wanna go ahead and cut up my onion. I need I have to saute this one whole onion. I'm also going to have my skillet preheating at medium to high heat. About well, medium heat, that'd be fine. I'll dice up this onion. I like to cook with a little trash bag so I can my easy to make my area keep my area clean while I'm cooking. Hang my bag right on the sink. We got to set the timer on my pasta. So I'll set that at letting it cook for about, I'll check it at seven minutes. Or I'll check it at six minutes. I don't want it to get too soft. I just gonna have one whole onion. I'm gonna chop up finely. Once I finish chopping up this onion, I'm going to saute the onions, the diced onions, for about three minutes. And be careful when you use your knife. Don't cut your fingers off, that's for sure. All right. All right, I'm going to put one piece of onion, diced onion in the skillet, see if it fries up, see if it's ready. Oh, it's about ready. Change that back to medium to high, medium low now, since I'm gonna go ahead and saute the onions. I'm 
And we'll saute that for about three minutes. Mix my onions up a little bit. All right, after three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add some, some of the ingredients you see this out. I'm going to add the flour. This is a wheat flour I'm cooking with right here. I'm going to add a wheat flour. And I'm going to actually put that in there for about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to add my beef flavored broth, a little soy sauce tomato paste, and have a little bit of lemon juice, uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'll stir my pasta a little bit so the noodles don't stick, even though I put the oil in there. And I repeat, do not overcook your noodles. One more minute on my onions. All right, so once again, I have my beef flavored broth, I have my soy sauce, I have my tomato paste, and my lemon juice. I'm gonna put that in first with my wheat flour, but the wheat flour is gonna go in before all of that for about 30 seconds. Onions getting nice and soft, or translucent. We're almost there. About 30 more seconds on the onions. And I'm actually going to cook with some portobello mushrooms as well. It's about enough for four servings. I'm going to stretch it out to be five. So you can make, make four to six servings with this. So once again, I'll be making five. So the portobello mushrooms takes the place of the meat in this recipe. You normally heard here of a beef stroganoff, but this is a mushroom stroganoff dish. All right, my onions are nice and translucent just sauteing those for a minute onions popping all over the place Goes. all right i'm going to add a little bit of wheat flour i'm going to add this stir this up for about 30 seconds Noodles like they almost done. All right, so it's been 30 seconds with the wheat flour. Now I'm going to slowly add in my beef flavored broth, it's about two cups. Flour is going to help thicken up that sauce. All right, my soy sauce. All right, my tomato paste. And I'm going to add my lemon juice. The buzz is indicating, well, letting me know to cook or check on my, my pasta, make sure I'm not overcooking that. I'm going to put this back on the stove. All right, I'm 
I'm gonna let this sauce bubble up a little bit. Should take about a minute. Let me check my pasta. Turn the timer off, I'll get on my nerves. All right. Mm. Pasta's not all the way done, but it's just al dente, which means just under uh, completion and being all the way cooked through. All right, so I'm gonna let that, fin that process finish cooking with this cool water run. I'm gonna bring my pasta over here in my sink and my strainer. I need the cold water. The cold water stops the cooking process so the pasta is not continue to cook. After I drank, so I pour half the water out. Let it drain a little bit. This is the trick to making sure the pasta doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. I pour most of the water out, leave a little bit of water in here. Now at the very end, I'm going to dump all, all out at the same time. None of the pasta sticks. Works every single time. Make sure you turn your eye off. All right, so once again, I'm going to run this water, this cool water on top of the noodles to stop the cooking process. All right, let that cool down a little bit. All right, I have my sauce over here, thickening up. All right, now I'm gonna add my portobello mushrooms. That's eight ounces here, another eight ounces here. All right, in addition to that, I'm gonna add my dry thyme. Dry sage. Saw it. The exact recipe will be located at tone26.com. So you have the exact measurements. And I have some rice vinegar I want to add at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and return this back to the eye. Let you look at it before I put it back on there. All right. Let these mushrooms soften up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook for about five minutes. At the end of those five minutes, I'm gonna add some of my rice. Where is it at? Containers all look the same. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, at, the, at the end, I'm gonna add my rice vinegar to the end. At the end, I'm gonna add also a little bit of sour cream. Feel free to leave the tablespoon of sour cream out. Just makes it a little bit creamier. If you're trying to be super healthy, of course, you can always leave that out, not mandatory. All right, all right. So I'll see you back in five minutes for the final presentation. Hey, welcome back. It's been ten minutes. I let the um, I let the mixture cook for five minutes, stirring constantly for five minutes, and then after five minutes, I added the rice vinegar. And I let it cook another five minutes. Now at this point, it's um, this part is optional. If you want to make it creamier and if you don't worry about the extra calories on this particular meal, you can add a, a tablespoon of sour cream. Like I said, this part is optional. I'm going to add this sour cream. 
as well as my noodles. I'm gonna stir up that sauce first before I add my noodles. Once again, this part is optional. Feel free to leave the sour cream out. If you're on a tight diet, definitely leave it out. It's a cheat day. Feel free to, to use the sour cream. This is one of your cheat days. Sour cream is like a little bit creamier. All right. I'll add my 10 ounces of pasta. Once again, this is five servings. It looks like a lot because it is. It's serving five people. I'm also going to add some parsley. I'm going to save some parsley for the end for the, for the garnishment. Add a little bit of black pepper. Stir this up. I'm going to return this to the stove for an additional five minutes. All right, so see you back in five minutes. All right, it's been five minutes. The food is finished. And once again, to make it a little healthier, I use the Kroger brand yolk free um, pasta. A yolk free pasta which has less fat than your traditional pasta that cooks with the um, the egg yolk all right so that's been an additional five minutes boom here we go mushroom stroganoff I'm gonna finish it with a little parsley for garnishment All right, once again, it's a lacto-ovo vegan-friendly dish. Try it and tell me what you think. All right, see you next time.